elected Arizona lawmaker on the wrong side of the law tonight with a warrant for her arrest. Democrat Ceci Velasquez failed to appear in court for several traffic violations, and now she owes a big fine. It's a story we first told you about last night at 10, and today we tracked her down as well as her opponent. ABC 15 Sarah Goldenberg joins us now live, and Sarah, she says she just wants to focus on taking office right now. Well, she says she made a mistake and she actually apologized to voters in this letter that she sent us. But now voters and even her opponent are questioning her credibility and they're taking a very close look at state law. Voters in Legislative District 29 shocked to hear the Litchfield Park Democrat just elected to state house is wanted by the law. That's ridiculous. So where is she? They should find her. Ceci Velazquez, a paralegal and single mother of four, racked up over $2,000 in traffic violations back in 2010 for driving on a suspended license without car insurance. She failed to appear in Pinal County Court several times and didn't pay, so a judge issued a warrant. We make mistakes and stuff like that, but. We have to be honest about what we have. The Secretary of State's office says there's no law banning someone wanted on a warrant from running for public office. Attorneys say Velasquez could fix all of this by writing a check. There's a warrant for her arrest. She can be arrested. She hasn't taken office yet. Once she takes office, for the 15 days prior to the legislative session starting and then during the legislative session, she cannot be arrested. Republican Aaron Borders ran against Velazquez. He says he knew about her record but didn't use it against her during the campaign. We're going to look like big bullies and we don't want to be big bullies. We want to beat her in the arena of ideas, beat her on the fact that we are more qualified. Borders says he lost by 1,200 votes. I wouldn't say I'm bitter. I just think. The people still need to know. They, they still have a right to know. How do you expect someone to handle the affairs of the state when they can't handle their own affairs? I'm we're told the only way she can be, be, can be removed from office is if someone challenges her in court or if the state house gets involved. Now, Border says he's hired an attorney who is looking into the idea of a special election at this time. In her statement, Velazquez says that she is not on the run from the law and she plans to take care of this very soon. Back to you. All right, keep us posted on what she does. Thanks so much, Sarah.